Now, he's starred in such films as Devil Wears Prada and Lovely Bones, as well as my favourite, Julie and Julia, as well as fronting the ultimate foodie travel show, Searching for Italy. Well, now, Stanley Tucci has just released a new book and it's called What I Ate in One Year. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's gorgeous. We've been chatting Thanks. during the break there. This is such an interesting idea for a book. Tell me how it came about. It was the publishers uh, <clears throat> who had done the first book I wrote called Taste said, we'd like you to write another book. And I said, I don't know what to write. I don't want to write a cookbook. We don't need a cookbook by someone like me who's not a chef. And uh, my wife said, just write about what you eat in one year and as a sort of diary. And we all went, oh, that's a great idea. She's a literary agent. She knows what she's talking and about. And much yeah. smarter than, than I am. So I said, oh, okay. And then I started writing it. And it, it was, it flowed very naturally. Yeah, but you know what makes me laugh? I was thinking about this. Okay, so let me just tell you. So, if you were. David Tennant, June the 1st, comes round for dinner. Then on July the 12th, Robert Downey Jr. is round for dinner. Then we have Colin Firth is round for dinner in August. And then we have Harry Styles in September. Is this your real life? Or did you feel no, under no, pressure no, I swear to, to invite God. all the most famous people you know to make <laughs> no, the no, book interesting? It is, it is my real life. That <laughs> It is part of my real life. I love right? it. Right? Because my friends are in show business. Yes. And some of them are famous. Tell us know. about Harry Styles, because the others I get. <laughs> how did your friendship with... Because in the book, you, this lovely moment where you just say he just rode his bike over or something and he just popped round. How did yeah. you and Harry Styles become friends? We became friends uh, through a, a mutual friend. And, uh, and, I don't know, we just stayed friends. And he's just lovely, and Felicity and I just love him. I think I'm, I'm perhaps a sort of a vuncular figure. Uh, for for Harry, but he's the like a mentor, or like, not, not hardly a mentor, <laughs> but but at any rate, just just like an like a like a grandfather. No, and well, I think he's just. Listen, an, I think he's an incredible guy. He's a he's a sex symbol in his own life. No though. kidding. As are you, Stanley darling, Tucci. Darling, this is true, isn't it? How you how do you feel about being seen as this sex symbol? Are you, in... I, well, it's great. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I mean, but I don't know. Yes, I, it's I'm very flattered. And the thing is, with this book, is that you talk... It's that there's a lot of family cooking as well for your two youngest children. Yeah. And um, what is it like trying to sort of impart food and joy to them? What is it about cooking for people that gives you so much joy? It just helps you make a connection with people, whether they're people you don't know or if they're people you know really well, like your children. It, it's reinforcing a connection and you're creating an environment where everybody feels... Um, Cozy and loved for lack and of a cared word. for because cooking is caring, isn't it? In it lots is, of ways, it people. is, it is very much about showing love. And um, you want to show love particularly to David Beckham. <laughs> Tell I us love about David this. Beckham. I think he's fascinating. I watched that documentary on him, and we have mutual friends, but we've never actually met, right? And I just think he's he's amazing. When I saw him cooking on his, his uh, outdoor you know device that he has. Uh, that actually Guy Ritchie designed. Uh, I was. I just thought that's an incredible thing. And you. And now I have one. And oh, you do. Yes, so I do. So have you? Not quite as big as his. But have you know. extended the invitation to David Beckham to come round? I have not, but at some point I will. I, I have to get the, my nerve up. And would you? And I, I would you like to cook for the king, possibly? Sure. What would you what, cook? Whatever would you, he wants. What would you cook for King Charles? Oh, whatever he wants. You'd cook anything. Would you be? Have you ever sure, been nervous? Sure, but I'm not. I'm not a chef. You know, I would. I'm just a guy who likes to cook. Well, and you're brilliant at it, and you impart such a love. But your heritage is Italian, isn't it? Yes. So that's where that sort of foodie love comes from. Yeah. And um, tell us about some of the other things you were. You've got Conclave coming out, your new yes. film. Yes. Conclave. I'm very excited about it. Uh, there were some screenings last night. Uh, yes. Uh, for the London Film Festival, and it is a, absolutely, as you can see here in these images, stunning, stunning film. Uh, Ray Fiennes, John Lithgow, uh, Isabella Rossellini, directed by Edward Berger, who did uh, All Quiet in the Western Front. And this is about when, how they... How they choose Because it's such a pope. secretive process, Yes, isn't it? based on a Robert Harris novel. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. so fascinating. And look... Devil Wears Prada. I've seen all the posters for the musical around London. Uh, Vanessa Williams is in it, isn't she? And I think she was at the, at, at the, the Elton I, John I saw doesn't? her Did last you? night, actually. Yes, I saw her uh, at, a, at an event last night. She's lovely. And, and actually, my dad taught her in high school, oddly. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so funny. Um, yeah. Does Devil Wears Prada still hold a very special place in your life? Without question. Uh, it was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had 
uh, uh, professional experiences. And then, you know, and now Emily, who is she, who's in that? No, she's not in that photo. Uh, Emily is now my sister-in-law. Yeah, your world is such an interesting universe it's just where things smaller connect. And smaller. Just explain <laughs> how Emily Blunt is now your sister-in-law. Well, my first wife passed away about 15 yeah. years ago. Uh, I met, um, I had met uh, Felicity at um, uh, Emily's sister at uh, at the premiere of the Devil Wears Prada, and then after uh, we, I can't remember. I came here to do. Oh, I went to Emily's wedding, and then I met her at Emily's. What re met her at Emily's wedding, and I came here to do a film. We started dating. Isn't life and fascinating? And now we have. She helped me raise my older kids. Yeah. And, and now we have two little kids. And I do love it, actually. My favourite entry in, in the book is actually about that, where on April the 30th, you're cooking chicken cutlets, white rice and steamed Romanesco and a bit of broccoli for the kids. Yeah. And uh, you said, we're just putting them to bed early. And then we have to answer such questions as, Daddy, how much older than are you than Mummy? Yeah. And you say 21 years. And they go, well, why is she taller than you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. They can insult you in just two, two sentences. It's amazing. Yeah. That's brilliant. And listen, if you have to impart, because there are lots of nervous cooks, I think. I'm one of those people. I like to cook, but I like to know what I'm doing. I don't want anyone else, like, meddling. But you always seem like a natural person. If more people turn up to your house than you're expecting, you'll turn into it quickly. Yeah, you figure it out. You have to figure it out. Um, especially nowadays with pe when people have different dietary needs or, yes. you know, requests. Um, you want to be able to make everybody happy. Have you ever had a disaster? Oh, all the time. Go on. What, oh, all the time. I'm always, I'm always overcooking. Tell us your human. I'm you over... I never... I, I'm not very good at roasting things. I have a tendency to forget about them. I don't set a timer. I forget to set the timer, which is really bad. And um, my wife is much better at that. I'm much better on the stove to the top. Well, you are an absolutely fascinating person too. And um, it's fantastic to meet you. Such a suave, debonair Very chap. Very kind. Thank and uh, this book is absolutely lovely. Thank you so much, Stanley. It's a great pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, nice congratulations to meet you too. on the conclave. Oh, thank Sounds you. Sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah I actually thanks. Can't wait to thank see you. that. And the book, What I Ate in a Year, is out now.